Hello everyone, Jonathan Casey here with Mercury's Messenger Astrology, here to talk about February 10th, 2020. So, uh, we just had the full moon in Leo, and now the moon has moved into Virgo. It's making a trine to Uranus, and it's opposing Mercury. Mercury's about to go retrograde this week. Um, so let's take a look at the chart. So, uh, here we have the moon in Virgo. Virgo's an earth sign. It's in a grand trine, actually, to Uranus, who's in Taurus, and um, the south node in Capricorn. So uh, we have some surface changes that we're feeling out those details uh, to, um, you know, make it real. Uh, it's opposing Mercury, who's in Pisces. Mercury's about to go retrograde this week. Um, Mercury last year, I think it was in March or so, uh, spent almost six weeks in Pisces. I really did not enjoy Mercury in Pisces. I remember uh, having a big bomb fire out in my yard when Mercury finally moved into Aries as we got some clarity. Uh, but here he's kind of in a uh, fog. Um, we really don't know what's going on. It's a confusing time. Um, and, you know, he rules Virgo. So even though uh, the moon is in Virgo, uh, I feel like the details, we don't have them. We're trying to figure them out. They're unclear. Uh, there's changes going on still. And... Uh, you know, the south node is um, the past uh, and the north node is the future. So there's some changes going on. We still don't really know what's going on. Things are unclear, uncertain. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just a time to, I guess, uh, you know, try and use that, that courage, that strength, that fire energy from that full moon to um to do our best in uh trying to figure everything out right now yeah that's kind of what i feel like the energy is um sorry if i feel like i'm going a little fast uh i have some people upstairs that want to play yet another game of monopoly I just got my ass kicked by I think a seven-year-old. Um, I was <laughs> I was sure she was gonna lose, yet uh, she racked house. And anyhow, we're gonna do a rematch. Uh, it was me, her, and her mother. Her father really came in to help, but you know, like while we were playing, I kind of helped her out a little bit too. She wanted boardwalk, and uh, I. I gave it to her just because I was sure she was going to lose um, and that was not the case anyhow uh, this is uh, my Facebook post for February 10th I pulled the seven of dragonflies and the tombstone card so the seven of dragonflies dragonflies are cups this suit is about emotions or intuition and the number seven is associated with Jupiter expansion growth truth this card is pointing to big emotions it is saying to allow our emotions to expand so we could uncover what is most important our big truth and the tombstone card most people would uh, think that the tombstone card would be a bad card however this is far from accurate the tombstone card also signifies birth think of the planet Pluto the sign Scorpio or the Phoenix bird this is deep transformation with every end comes a new beginning this end has us traveling through the mysterious unknown realms of death where we go through a transfiguration to be born anew cards in unity following the leo full moon a deep emotional shift has taken place we are being called to expand find our joy and face our big truth this takes great courage as we must allow an old part of ourselves to die a part that may have given us comfort in its familiarity however it is also the part that does not serve our emotional growth for the next two weeks we approach the pisces new moon during this time 
our old selves will die and transform within the crystallis of our old identity a new self will rise like the phoenix bird emerging from the ashes born again so uh that is my video for today um thank you guys very much for watching and uh see you guys all tomorrow uh, bye for now